What if Deku joined Team JPDE? Chapter 2 New School Life Monday Day 1 Deku woke up early in the morning, the sun hadn't even risen yet. Deku got out of bed and headed to the bathroom to change. He put on his gamma outfit and exited the bathroom, as he did he saw that Penny was up. Ayuku. What are you doing up so early Penny asked. I could ask you the same. Also why are you looking over David Deku asked. Oh, um. David suffers from amnesia, and since I was the first one to make contact with him, I just want to make sure he's okay Penny said with a blush. So, you are a protector Deku said. Yes. I want to protect the world and exterminate the Grim Penny said. Same here. I want to protect the world and be its hero Deku said. Don't you mean Hunter Penny asked? Nope. A hero Deku said. Then I wish you the best of luck, Ayuku Penny said. Thanks. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going for my regular morning run Deku said. You get up this early to run. Getting up this early can be bad for you Penny said. Should you be following your own advice Deku asked. Um, yes, but you see. I'm a light sleeper, the quietest noise or slight change in light can wake me up Penny said, followed by a hiccup. I see, then I'll be sure to be quiet when I get up. Now to answer your question. I still have a long way to go before I can be Remnant's hero. I still have so much to learn, and I need to master my semblance Deku said. I can already tell that you are a hard worker, but please, don't hurt yourself in any way Penny said. Already kind of late with that advice Deku said. What do you mean Penny asked? I'll explain later. Soon there will be not time for my run. I'll see you in a bit Penny Deku said, walking to the door. Okay. Make sure you are back in time to get ready from school Penny said. I will. Don't worry Deku said. Deku then left the dorm rooms and began his run around Beacon's campus. As he made his way around the campus, he saw two other students doing the same. One was a boy with blonde hair, who seemed to be out of breath. The other student was a girl with bright crimson hair. She didn't even look like she was breaking a sweat. Come on Jan. You should be able to do this easily the girl said. I know. Pira, but. We've been training throughout our time off. I need to rest for a bit Jan said. Oh, sorry Pira said. It's fine. You are trying to help me catch up, and I thank you for that, but I need a break. Can we continue this next week Jan asked. Sure but next time tell me when you need a break. I don't want to see you hurt Pira said. Okay Jan said. Deku then passed the two. Who was that Jan asked? I don't know. He must be one of the new students Pira said. Soon Deku returned to his dorm room. Welcome back Ayuku Penny said. Deku gave Penny a smile. And where did you go Jack asked. Just out for a run Deku said. Huh. But it's so early. What's wrong with you Evelyn asked. Evelyn Jack said. What Evelyn said. Deku laughed. I have a lot to catch up on. Especially since you guys are two years older than me Deku said. I like your style Ayuku. Though you shouldn't be in a rush to do so, David is the one who really needs to catch up quickly Jack said. Hey. I'd say I'm doing fine, for what happened to me David said. I suppose so. Not having any memories and being put into a meteor would mean you have a lot to catch up on Deku said. How? How do you know that Penny asked? Ospin told me. He didn't give me anything specific, but he gave a basic overview of the situation Deku said. Guess that makes sense. Though why didn't he tell me about it? I only found out during the exam Jack said. Deku shrugged. Moo. No fair why couldn't that grey haired asshole let me have some fun with you Evelyn said. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances, 
Carrots Jack said. I'll be making sure you are first poisoner Evelyn said. Will you drop Jack shouted. We should start getting ready for school Penny said. Penny's right. School will be starting soon, and I don't want to miss breakfast David said. Okay. Let me just have a quick shower before we get changed Deku said. Deku entered the bathroom and had his quick shower. After his shower he let David into the bathroom, and they got into their uniform. I've conquered you, necktie. Mwehaha David said. No you haven't Deku said. Deku then grabbed David's tie and did it up neatly. They're much better Deku said. Thanks, but how can you do my tie up whilst you do yours all small and stumpy David asked. I didn't know how to do a tie at first, so this happened. I learned how to do it properly, but it kind of became my style, you know Deku said. I see. Evelyn. Can we come out David asked. Of course, you guys can. The real question is. Should you? Fu 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 Evelyn said. Alright, other question. Have you 100% finished changing into your uniform David asked. Oh no, he's learning. He's soon going to overthrow his masters Evelyn said. Evelyn David said. David Evelyn said. We're coming out David said. And women everywhere rejoiced Evelyn said. But we're not in a closet Deku said. David and Deku then exited the bathroom, and thankfully Evelyn was dressed, but that just created another problem. So. How do I look Evelyn asked. How many words can I use David asked. The uniform Evelyn was wearing hugged her large curves very nicely, much better than her regular clothes. She wore a mini skirt that showed off her thighs and legs. Or. Oh. Am I so sexy you're at a loss for words Evelyn asked. I have words. I don't know if I should voice them David said. Kept the profanities to one word and you can go right ahead and worship me Evelyn said. Haughty, aren't we David asked. So, Deku, what do you think Evelyn asked? It looks good on you Deku said. Is that it? You have nothing else to say. Nothing about how it shows off my voluptuous curves and makes you Evelyn asked. You are very, very blunt aren't you Deku said. That's part of my charm Evelyn said. Um, Evelyn. David. Deku. I'm coming out as well Penny said. Penny then opens the kitchen door and enters the room. How? How do I look Penny asked. Oh, my gods, Penny. You're adorable Evelyn said. It looks very good on you, Penny David said. It fits you very well Deku said. Thanks. I've never worn a uniform before Penny said blushing. While Penny is not as voluptuous as Evelyn the uniform still nicely showed of her figure. Penny, why do you still have your collar on under the uniform David asked. I have a scar. Yes, a positively ugly scar that I wish to keep hidden from sight at all times Penny said followed by a hiccup. Oh, well. If you need a collar that covers the entirety of your neck it must be a pretty big scar Evelyn said. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry David said. Oh, I don't mind. It's perfectly fine Penny said. Penny. There is no need to worry about scars. I have plenty of my own Deku said. You do Penny asked. He does. All along his arms. He has one big one on his right arm David said. Oh, well. Do you mind telling how you got them? What kind of grim gave you those Evelyn asked. Um, actually they are self-inflicted scars Deku said. Three looked at him in shock and then sadness. Not like that. I got them from overusing my semblance Deku said. That's a relief Penny said. Yeah. For a second there I thought I might have to hug you until you felt better cute face Evelyn said, causing Deku to blush. Anyways, you two are in luck. For I am an expert at scar removal Evelyn said. You are David and Penny asked. I am. 
I can prepare a salve that periodically applied Evelyn said. I'm coming out Jack said. Please do come right out this very instant, hack. We're awaiting your reveal with fervent curiosity Penny said hiccuping again. Jack then enters the dorm room but her uniform is different to Penny's and Evelyn's, in the face that it was the male uniform. What Evelyn said. Jack Penny said. Hey, what's wrong with the four of you? Did I get the not wrong Jack asked. No, it's. Perfect David said. Jack, that's. The male uniform Penny said. Who are you, yeah Jack said. Why Evelyn asked. Cause I don't like skirts. Bloody hell, does it look that bad on me Jack asked. It doesn't and that's the problem Evelyn said. Carrots what does that even mean Jack asked. Evelyn bites down on what she was going to say. She goes over to the apartment door and leans her head against it three times. Seriously, what's her problem Jack asked. There's nothing wrong, but I guess it's attention grabbing Penny said. That's it. Let people watch, who cares Jack said. Yeah. Who cares David said. I think Evelyn does Deku said. Well, I don't care what Evelyn thinks. Now though Jack said. Jack then walks up to Deku. Hold still for a moment Jack said. Jack you don't need to fix my tie Deku said. But it's so messy. Here I thought David would need help Jack said. Well, I do actually. Deku did up my tie David said. Then why is it like this Jack asked. It sort of became my style, so to speak Deku said. Well then, I'll leave you alone. My dad always said. A bad tie makes a bad day. If you need help just ask. Now, let's go to breakfast. Carrots, get off the door, will ya Jack said. Hate you Evelyn said. Come on, partner. Most important meal of the day Jack said. Evelyn gets off the door and Jack grabs David by the shoulders and then proceeds to push him towards the door. Of course, you realize this means war Evelyn said. What Deku asked? Ajuku Penny said. Yes Deku said. Please teach me how to do a Thai Penny said. Um, okay. Sure, I can Deku said. Penny, Evelyn and Deku then followed after Jack and David. The five then arrived at the mess hall. Damn. I've never seen so many people all eating in the same place Jack said. Me neither. The school was mostly empty the last few days David said. Well, knowing I'm not the only one who's never lived the school life makes me feel at ease. Sharing the pain and all that Jack said. What? You've never attended an academy David asked. Never ever, partner Jack said. But you're so strong David said. Flatterer. You haven't even seen my semblance Jack said. FYI, I've never attended a combat academy either Evelyn said. Neither have I Penny said. Seriously. I'm the only one who's been to a combat academy. That's weird, a majority being a minority Deku said. I have to call bullshit on you three. You've obviously all been trained in combat, or am I on a team with three fighting savants David asked. Of course, we've been trained, dummy. But do you think combat academies are the only places in Remnant where you can learn to fight Evelyn asked. I don't know, are they? For all I know they could be David said. Oh, right. You're missing memory Jack said. There are other venues available to those who wish to learn the art of combat on Remnant. Retired or injured hunters can take apprentices and there are non-hunters versed in the workings of aura and dust living outside of the Four Kingdoms Penny said. I see. Sounds reasonable David said. Glad it does. Now let's get some grub, I'm famished Jack said. The five then grabbed some food and sat down. Well. Wow. This is the best food I've had eaten in months Jack said. Oh. But don't you usually cook for yourself Evelyn asked. Of course I do. 
but I... I can do miracles while on the road, Jack said. How's the food, Penny David asked. Home, it's definitely nutritionally balanced but I think the eggs were slightly overcooked. Probably to give them more consistency before the scrambling procedure Penny said. Penny. You could have just said they were good enough Deku said. But it wouldn't have been sufficiently informative to answer to his inquiry Penny said. Thanks for the concern but I was just trying to make small talk, Penny David said. Oh. Sorry, I. I'm not used to it so I can't properly distinguish yet Penny said. Oh, it's fine. To be honest, it's kind of cute. Now watch and learn. Ajuku how is your food David asked. It's okay, it's not the best food I've had from a mess hall. But it's still good Deku said. See. An answer so simple an amnesiac can understand David said. You called me cute Penny said quietly. What was that Deku asked. You two are doing this to distract me, aren't you Penny asked. What? I have no idea what you're talking about David said. Calling me. And my mannerisms cute, because you remember how I reacted the day we met Penny said. Oh, that. Yes, I may be trying to make you blush on purpose David said. Thanks. But you don't have to worry so much, I'm not a particularly negative person Penny said. But you made such a kicked puppy face. It was just a little communication mishap. Why does it get you so down David asked. I'm gonna have to call this out. You two are definitely acting like a couple Deku said, causing David and Penny to blush. But we really aren't. We met not even a week ago and Penny said. Penny. Everyone. Good morning a girl called. Ruby. Good morning David said. Ruby. A good morning from me as well Penny said. Thanks. But enough about me, you. You're wearing the beacon uniform Ruby said. Ruby then dashed over to Penny and hugged her tightly. That means you've passed initiation. Congratulations Ruby said. Thanks, Ruby Penny said. Penny then returns the hug, with a big smile on her face. Oh, no hug for me Evelyn asked. Oh hi, Evelyn is that your fourth Ruby said, stopping mid-sentence when she saw what Jack was wearing. Um. You're a girl right Ruby asked. Sure um. The name's Jacqueline B. Ivory, but you can call me Jack Jack said. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, you're so pretty and your hair is so long I thought of course she must be a girl but you have the male uniform on so I got confused Ruby said. It's alright. I guess I'm the only female student who wears the male uniform Jack asked. As far as I know. But seriously, it looks better on you than the guys Ruby said. And she knows how to tie a tie properly Deku said. Um, who are you Ruby asked. Ruby. This is our fifth teammate. Ajuku Midoriya Penny said. Wait fifth, but why five Ruby asked. You'll have to ask Ospin. That's even if he gives you a straight answer Evelyn said. Well it's nice to meet you Ajuku, I'm Ruby Rose Ruby said. Nice to meet you, Ruby. You can call me Deku Deku said. Is that a nickname Ruby asked. Yeah, some use it instead of Ajuku Deku said. That's kind of weird Ruby said. Oh, yeah. Ruby there's something special about Ajuku. That will make you very happy Penny said. Really? What is it Ruby asked? He's 16 Penny said. Wait really Ruby asked? Yep. Turned 16 a few months ago Deku said. Finally. I'm not longer the bee's knees young Ruby shouted. Okay, three questions. Are you the guy Ruby was making a weapon for? What is she making a fool out herself now and what do you mean by no longer the bee's knees a voice asked. Walking over to the table was a girl with long blonde hair. She also had a voluptuous figure, but Evelyn's curves are bigger than hers. Young. I wasn't embarrassing myself, I was asking a completely legitimate question. 
And now I'm not the only one who is much younger than the rest Ruby said. Wait really? Who are they young asked? The green one. His name is Ajuku and he's only a few months older than me Ruby said. Hello Deku said. That still makes you the youngest young teased. So she's the girl who used common sense on you David asked. Oh my gods, she actually said that out loud young laughed. David. That was subhapsed to be private Ruby shouted. It was David asked. Yes Ruby shouted. Why didn't you tell me David asked. What do you mean why didn't you? Oh right. You don't know young Ruby said. Well, that's a digi view David said. A crime, more like it. I'm young. Ruby's teammate and older sister young said. Wait, what? Older sister David asked. The two look nothing alike. I'm David. And yes, Ruby did make my weapon and I will make sure to repay her David said. Glad to know that. And hi, Penny. I couldn't believe it when Ruby said. You were going to be attending Beacon as well Young said. I couldn't believe it myself at first. It's a pleasure to see you again, Young. David is my teammate Penny said. Hey there Young said. Hey there yourself. Eva Lynn Damarot Eva Lynn said. And this is our team leader and David's partner, Jacqueline Penny said. Be Ivory. But you can call me Jack Jack said. Another blonde, finally. I was starting to despair, only having John to share it with Young said. I heard that a voice shouted. So who's greeny with Young asked. I'm just on my own I guess Deku said. Honestly, I think you should be Jack's partner. You are both strong and smart. You would be perfect together David said. Yeah, but you still have a lot to learn. Having Jack as your partner is overall better for the team Deku said. Wow, Jack. Never thought I'd see the day when two boys fight over you Evelyn said, causing Deku and David to blush. Don't worry about who's my partner. I can take on two partners at once Jack said. Bo chicka bo wow Evelyn and Young said. Not. Like that Jack said, with a blush. And here I hoped she was one to break the stereotype. Between you and the dunce, I have half a mind of removing from my life anything even remotely resembling a shade of yellow a girl with white hair said, as she walked over. You must be wise, then David asked. Oh wow, wise. You got another admirer Young said. What are you talking about? Admirer David asked. Oh, come on, don't play dumb. How else would you know Wise Cream's name Young asked. I guess you know me from my singing career. Or are you an estimator of my family Wise asked. Um, I think there's a misunderstanding here. I have no idea who Wise is supposed to be, except for Ruby's teammate David said. Ruby laughed, while Young and Wise looked at David in shock. Okay, seriously. Why is that so shocking? What's so funny David asked. For real Young asked. He seems to be telling the truth. At least I think so a voice said. Walking over to them was a girl with black hair with a bow on top. But the question is. How does he know Wise name the girl asked. The better question is. How does he not know Wise asked. I'm Blake, by the way. Blake Belladonna. Nice to meet you, everyone. And hello again, Penny Blake said. David D.I.K. Begis. But seriously, I have no idea who Weiss is outside of her relationship to Ruby. And even that was a guess David said. Meaning Young asked. Penny told me about a teammate of Ruby who has great fashion sense and Ruby herself mentioned the name in passing. 50-50, so I took a guess David said. Oh, that's true Penny said. The three looked at David in surprise. Home. Well, considering the information at your disposal, it's logical that you'd come to that conclusion. You certainly couldn't have made that bet on Young or Blake Weiss said. 
Excuse me, Blake asked. Hey, Young said. I'm Weiss, Shani Weiss said. I see. It's a pleasure, David said. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, Weiss said. Seriously, a voice shouted. Now, I'd love to stay and chat some more, Weiss said. The bell then went. I'm afraid classes are about to begin. We should all hurry, Weiss said. Oh. The bell. We only have half an hour, Penny said. I'm sure we will see each other during classes. Have a good day. I can call you David, right Weiss asked. Oh come on the same voice said. Sure. If I can call you Weiss David said. Absolutely. Have a good day, David. Everyone Weiss said. Who are you, this is unfair. Do you have any idea how long it took me to get Weiss to be friendly to me? What's your secret Ruby asked. Ruby. I haven't the foggiest idea David said. Home. This isn't over. Not by a long shot Ruby said. Well, that's a weird team David said. You sure? I'm pretty sure we are the weirdest, with going halfway through the year and being a five member team Deku said. Good point. Anyway, she doesn't seem that bad David said. You mean why Evelyn asked? Considering what you told me about her family's company David said. She's just the youngest daughter of the family, it's not like she has any administrative power. A.N.S. Hey, she's an individual like the rest of us. Even if statistically humans and faunas don't get along that well, I like to always keep an open mind. If I thought that every human I meet is a racist. Talk about self-fulfilling prophesies Evelyn said. Weiss is Ruby's partner. I don't think she would be able to get along with a genuinely bad person. Although, she did warm up to you. Uncharacteristically quickly Penny said. I am guessing from what you are saying the Ski family isn't exactly clean Deku said. Wait how do you not know that Evelyn asked. My village has no dust deposits, so we have to import it. And that's even if it gets up there. We take all the dust we can get no matter who it is from. Also, we don't have great scroll communication. So how bad is it Deku asked. You don't know the half of it Jack and really said. What's the matter Jack David asked. She does seem like a nice girl Jack said. Jack. You okay? There Deku asked. It's. It's nothing, Ajuku. I'm sorry. Let's go refresh ourselves and then to class, alright Jack said. Jack then stood up and started to walk away. Did something happen Penny asked. I really don't know Penny Deku said. The four then stood up and joined Jack to class. As they entered the classroom, they noticed that there were no seats of four. Of course, that wouldn't really matter with a team of five, but still they wouldn't be sitting close to each other. Bummer. Oh well, we'll have to make new friends Jack said. Sounds good. I'll see you guys after classes David said. They look around for open seats. There was space for two students on the far left, which Jack and Ijuku take. Soon the professor entered the classroom. The professor was a short stubby man with one hell of a moustache. Children, I welcome you back into these halls the professor said. Ah, uh, port hasn't changed at all during the break Young said. Hey. Seems like Young doesn't like this class Jack said. I think she doesn't like Professor Port, more than this class Deku said. I hope you used these weeks to relax, catch up with family and friends left behind. Because from today on, we're getting back to familiarizing ourselves with our prey. For our enemy is relentless. And always up for feasting on scrumptious human morsels. Even in the comfort of our homes, even in our most private moments. Why, for example, I remember one time Port said. The class lets out a collective groan. Scratch that. I think the whole class hates Port Jack said. There I was, deep in enemy territory, having just felt a particularly strong adversary. 
It was a long and hard fought battle, but that's a story for another time Port said. Thank you, God's Young said. I was so satisfied with my catch that I decided to help myself to my guilty pleasure. A bag of a fine blend of vacuo tea. A boiling kettle and a whistle later, lo and behold I was about to enjoy my piece of nirvana Port said. I think I understand why the class reacted like that Deku said. Yeah. Seems he's one for rambling about himself, instead of teaching Jack said. But alas, soon a new enemy appeared to chastise me for my mistake. Even though my immediate surroundings had been cleared by my own hands, an appell swooped down from the sky. Quick my hand went to my weapon, swiftly holding it up to shield myself from the beast's mighty dive. Stumbling but not knocked to the ground, I flexed and pirouetted up in the air, my might war axe swinging port said. He's not going to stop until the end of class, isn't he Jack said. No I don't think so Deku said. I've been in similar situations, but none of them made me sleepy. Don't let me fall asleep Jack said. I'll try, but I might as well Deku said, followed by a yawn. Port then continued to talk for the whole class. Lo and behold, my enemy was defeated and faded at my feet Port said. Jack and Deku had managed to keep wake, by each other tapping and pinching each other. That experience taught me many a valuable lessons, which I saw fit to share with you today Port said. Bloody hell. He expects us to listen all through that. Ajuku, you have any clue what he wanted us to learn Jack asked. I think I have an idea. Was the lesson about the grim senses. More specifically about the appell sense of hearing. Professor Port Deku asked. Indeed it was. Very observant, young man. The appell is a grim shaped like a bat and just like their animal counterparts they have bad eyesight but incredible hearing, and locate their prey with echolocation. Even from afar the whistle of my kettle had attracted it like a moth to the flame. And if I hadn't been keeping my weapon by my side, I would have died with his first attack. Always have your weapon at hand when in a hostile environment, children. You never know when you may need it Port said. Well. He spent all that time to tell us that Grim are like animals. Great, I'm learning so much Jack sarcastically said. The bell then went, signifying the end of class. That's all the time we have for today, children. I encourage you to review and possibly deepen your knowledge about appels. Have a bountiful day Port said. Shoot. You're telling me we were supposed to pay attention all this time Young asked. Will you pipe down? And of course you were supposed to pay attention. You're in school Wise said. Let's go eat. I'm famished, and I haven't been doing much Jack said. Let's, as much as I like to learn. That was really boring Deku said. The two then stood up and headed to the mess hall with the others. Ah. Uh, Penny, seriously, what's your secret? Jack asked. Who, I feel so sluggish Evelyn said. I have no idea how I kept awake through it all David said. Me and Jack had to stop each other from falling asleep Deku said. I guess I'm just used to listening to long speeches. My father has a habit of going into his own little world and muttering out his own thoughts Penny said. Practice makes perfect, Ha David said. I have no desire whatsoever to practice enduring that Evelyn said. For once, I agree with Evelyn. I'm glad that's over and done with Jack said. Until next week Deku said. Nuu. Gods why have you forsaken me Evelyn asked looking up. So, what do you want to do with the afternoon Jack said. I think I'll go into Vale David said. Want to inquire about that part-time job Evelyn asked. That's the plan, yes. I also thought about asking about helping in the kitchens like you mentioned, but they said to come back tomorrow David said. Do you want company, David Penny asked. Nah, it's okay. And I have the sneaking suspicion that you'd try and dissuade me David said. Hey. I will be awaiting your return, then Penny said. And remember that the last bulkhead to Beacon is at 10pm Evelyn said. 
I will keep that in mind. See you later, girls and guy David said. Later partner Jack said. David then left the mess hall. So what are you going to do, Ajuku Penny asked. I've got plans for the evening, but right now I'm going to explore Beacon. Haven't had the chance to look around it yet Deku said. If you're going around Beacon, then you'll need a guide, and luckily for you, this bunny has experience Evelyn said. Thanks. I'll be glad if you showed me around Deku said. Great, so get you butt up and let's go Evelyn said. I thought you said you felt sluggish, where'd this energy come from Jack asked. From being out of hell and having a good meal Evelyn said. Evelyn then took Deku to all the places she visited with David. And that concludes, Big Bunny's tour Evelyn said. Thanks, but is that it? Where is the gym and library, those things should be standard in a hunter academy Deku said. They are, but I don't know where they are. I haven't been here often, and when I am, I'm here for at most a night Evelyn said. I see. Then shall we explore Deku asked. Sure, why not? Might find some cool places Evelyn said. The two then walked around and found the library. Wow, this is a big library Evelyn said. Guess there are a lot of books on hunter things Deku said. That's true, but I also think there are just books for fun Evelyn said. I think David should spend a lot of time here Deku said. He also needs to spend time at the gym. Now let's find it Evelyn said. The two soon found the gym. Well. This place looks brand new Evelyn said. Maybe it was refurbished or it's a new building and the old one got torn down Deku said. Well, I now know where I can get all hot and sweaty Evelyn said, causing Deku to blush. And I guess I can exercise Evelyn said. Okay Deku said looking away from Evelyn. He saw a girl with ginger lifting weights. She stopped and got up. She was very sweaty, so sweaty that Deku could see through her shirt and saw her pink bra. The girl then looked over to Deku, and he quickly looked away. The girl then smiled. Deku then got a message on his scroll. I have to go. My plans start soon Deku said. Oh. But don't you want to train Evelyn said. I do, but I have other things I need to take care of Deku said. Okay then, be sure to tell me when you come here. I'll be sure to help you Evelyn said seductively. Deku left without saying a word. Deku soon arrived at Glinda's room. So, Mr. Midoriya. What do you want to go over first Glinda asked. Tell me everything about dust and everything associated with it. If I'm going to blend in, I better know more about it Deku said. Glinda then sat Deku down and began to teach Deku about dust, as she did so though she inadvertently pressed her breast against his back and head. Deku did learn some things, but Glinda kept on distracting him. A few hours later the lesson was over and Deku returned to his dorm room. Welcome back Ijuku. Did your thing go well Evelyn asked. Not really, but I'll be able to sort that out Deku said. Oh, really what happened Penny asked. Remember when I old you my village doesn't get much dust Deku said. Yeah, what about it Evelyn asked. Well the dust that we do get goes to homes and defenses. Which means us trainees don't get much use of dust. That's why my gear has no dust capabilities Deku said. Really, then how would they become effective hunters without knowing how to use dust Penny asked. We go over theory in normal classes, but for dust use, students only get to use it when they are taken out of the village by a hunter. And considering I was moved up, I don't have great knowledge of how dust works Deku said. I see. So did you have trouble understanding dust? If that's so I don't mind teaching. It's nothing to be ashamed about Penny said. I'm not ashamed about it, but I don't want to trouble you Deku said. No need to worry Ijuku. I'll be more than happy to teach and answer any inquiries about dust applications Penny said. Thanks Penny. You're a really good friend Deku said. Thanks Penny said, 
whilst blushing. And I know just the place to start, Deku said. Deku pulled a chest from under the bed and pulled out a dust notebook that the school had provided. Can you write down the basic applications of dust for me, Deku asked. Sure, I can. I'll have them done by morning, Penny said. Um, sister. We still have school if you remember. You need your sleep, Evelyn said. Oh, um, right, Penny said. Don't worry Penny our first lesson is on Thursday. You have plenty of time. So what have you two been up to Deku asked. Chatted with some people and got to know the local legends. Apparently, shortly before we joined, Team RWBY had the biggest food fight in the history of Beacon Evelyn said. Oh wow. Glad we weren't here for that. What it among themselves Deku asked. Against another first year team Evelyn said. I've been with Ruby this whole afternoon. I had fun Penny said. Good for you Deku said. Dinner is ready Jack called. You better have not done anything to it Evelyn said. No, I haven't carrots. Same as the last nine times you told me not to Jack said. Good. I don't trust you with any food Evelyn said, as she then entered the kitchen. The four then ate, and left some food for David. Evelyn and Penny left the kitchen to hang out in the bedroom. Jack stayed sat in her chair and joined her hands together. So what's bothering you Deku asked. Nothing really. I just need some time to think and refocus myself Jack said. I see. Then I'll leave you alone Deku said. Really? You're not gonna ask why Jack asked. No I wouldn't say we are close enough yet to be unloading each other's baggage on each other Deku said. Hey. I suppose so, but all it really was, was something that threw me for a loop Jack said. Well. I hope you can sort out whatever threw you for a loop Deku said. Thanks Jack said. Deku then joined Penny and Evelyn in the bedroom. Sometime later David returned and went into the kitchen to eat. Okay, Penny. I'll teach you how to tie a tie now Deku said. Thanks, Ajuku Penny said. Deku then taught Penny how to do a tie. Thank you Ajuku Penny said. No problem, but why did you want to learn Deku asked. I just want to help David as much as possible Penny said. You make it sound like David is a pet that you love and don't want to see hurt Deku said. Well. I don't want to see David hurt Penny said blushing. I'd say you're doing a bang up job already Penny. You will make a fine wife Evelyn teased. This caused Penny to blush profusely. I think you broke her Deku said. Whoops Evelyn said. End of chapter 2